Hi, this is Doug Ferber with American Feast, and we've got a special treat today. We're talking to Lee Hodo, the Director of Brand Development of the Bouchain Vineyard in Napa Valley, in the Carneros Appalachian. Is that the right word? Lee? Yes, perfect. Uh, pretty good, huh? <laughs> Bouchain is a favorite of ours. They make really awesome Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Lee is going to tell us about the history of the vineyard and uh, how they practice their sustainable uh, wine growing. Thanks for being on, Lee. It's my pleasure. All right. How's... Enjoyed looking at your website. Oh, thanks. Have you bought anything yet? We're open. <laughs> Put me on the spot, why don't you? Yeah, well, we're going to we're gonna be selling wine soon, and hopefully uh, sooner, sooner rather than later. And uh, the first one up there will be Bouchain. So, oh, uh, fantastic. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. So tell me, why don't we start with the history of the of the vineyard and kind of how it's evolved, and we can tie in the, the um, sustainability stuff right in there. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I should mention that the Carneros wine region is very unique uh, for its sparse population, old farms, and uh, wildlife population. And it's truly untouched in, in many respects uh, from when the original uh, Mexican land grant of 18,000 acres was named Rancho Carneros. So it's fitting that we, as a winery, leave the lightest footprint on this uh, estate that we have here. The first record of vineyards uh, planted in this area was 1899. And then in 1928, an Italian immigrant farmer uh, named Johnny Goretto bought uh, the estate that we're now on and uh, later built a winery. So that makes our winery the oldest continuously operated winery in this Carneros region. And the current owners, Garrett and Tatiana Copeland, uh, actually live in, in Delaware but have were always enamored with the wines of Burgundy and the community of Napa Valley. So... In 1981, they aren't they aren't they wine. part of the Dupont family? Yes, Mr. Copeland is I part of the so. Dupont. They're a very interesting couple. He is a uh, part of the Dupont family. He was raised in a beautiful estate, which is now a public park called Mount Cuba, in uh, Delaware. And Mrs. Copeland is actually of Russian aristocracy, and her family was forced out of Russia. Uh, she was raised in Germany and then in. South America, <clears throat> and they were uh, found each other in the late '60s, and and um, their uh, personalities are a terrific match in terms of their passions for art and food and wine and and um, all things. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of fine living. Mm-hmm. 